What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Eyes here, Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to try to help you guys uh, solve the problem of all of these really super stupid, annoying, scammy messages coming in through our Facebook business pages. And uh, I want to show you one thing that you could change in your Facebook business page to hopefully stop some of them from coming in. But then I also want to show you a pretty simple automation that you can create a workflow inside of the Go High Level platform that, that will allow you to automatically delete them. Because one of the annoying things, aside from the notifications that come in, is that it creates a contact inside of your account. And it's really stupid. And it can throw our numbers off and all that stuff. So we want to delete that, but obviously we don't want to do it manually, especially if you're managing a lot of sub accounts. Uh, so I want to show you a very simple workflow that you could put together uh, that will automatically delete them. So again, everything I'm going to show you, not necessarily going to stop all of them from coming in, but at least it can be managed, right? And uh, if you guys have something else that you're doing that's working, please, please drop it in the comments. I would love to know what it is, to, if there is a way to completely stop them from coming in through the business page, uh, that would be great. Um, and, and I do want to clarify, this is not a, a, a goal high level issue. This is a Facebook issue. Facebook as usual is a piece of trash and they just never seem to get any better. They never seem to actually fix any of their problems, but it is what it is. Uh, we have to, we have to manage it. So, uh, what I want to show you first is how to uh, like a, a, a simple settings that you, a, a, a feature that you could turn on and off inside of your Facebook business page. So head over to Facebook, you're gonna switch over to your uh, your business page profile, so make sure you do that. And you're gonna to wanna to go to your Meta Business Suite. Now, as usual, Facebook just likes to make things super complicated. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, I used to be able to just click on Meta Business Suite and it would take me there, but as you can see, there, it's just nowhere to be found. Uh, all I can click on is professional dashboard, dashboard as manager in Ad Center. So if you are having that same issue and you need to get to your Meta Business Suite, you're going to open up your ads manager. Okay. And over here on the left hand side, we're going to click on all tools. And right here where it says Meta Business Suite, you're going to click that and it's going to take you to where you need to be. Look at that. Now, what I, what I want to uh, point your attention to here is and again this is why it's not going to stop all of them from coming in but it's it, it can help is see how it said like a lot of the messages that come in is from guest whatever number well what we could do is uh click on inbox right here and and you know well no we'll get to that later uh, i was gonna rant about facebook uh more but that's not productive so whatever all right uh guest user all right, so what we can do is, uh, well, I might actually be in, uh, let's see, I want the messenger settings. Uh, hang on one second, guys. Okay, got it. Yep, so it's the, uh, so when you're in the inbox feature right here, the inbox tab, up here at the top right, we're going to click on settings and then chat plugin. All right, we're going to customize the chat plugin and see right here where it says guest chat. Uh, so this was turned on, I've already turned it off, but you could turn this off. And now people actually have to be logged in to send those stupid messages. So again, the the fake accounts and the accounts that are hacked or whatnot, it's not going to stop those. Uh, maybe there might be some uh, some feature where we can we can create an algorithm that identifies specific keywords and deletes them, but uh, or blocks them. But until then, that's what we're going to do. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you next right now. Uh, actually uh, in go high level to create so that like basically we're going to use trigger words the words that they use over and over and over again in all of these messages uh, to put together a workflow that just automatically deletes the message all right so make sure you do that with your business page and then head over to your go high level account we're going to click on automation and i suppose you don't necessarily have to have go high level for this any automation platform that you're using that allows you to create these types of automated workflows uh, you could do that or you should be able to, uh, of course you should just be using go high level cause it's amazing. But anyways, uh, let's, uh, we're going to create a new workflow here. All right. We'll start from scratch. <clears throat> okay. And our workflow trigger is going to be customer replied right here. And we're going to add the filter for the reply channel. We're going to use reply channel as our filter. So reply channel. And it's going to be Facebook Messenger. Okay, we're going to save that trigger. Okay, and then next we're going to use an if else condition. If else. All right. And our first branch here, 
Uh, actually, we're, we're going to be, uh, we'll just call this scam message. Okay, so we can keep our workflow organized. All right, and what we're going to use is contact reply, mess, uh, replied message, and we're going to put contains, and we'll start to put in our keywords. All right, so we're going to put, uh, we'll go back to the messages here. Uh, where am I at? Uh, let's go back to the inbox. All right, and you can go through some of these, and I mean, they, they really say the same things. Uh, uh, actually, and I think they, they always sign it too. So you could, you could put meta platforms in here. Uh, you don't, you don't want to go too crazy to this, with this because if you're getting, if you're using Facebook Messenger for marketing, you don't want to accidentally delete like real prospects. Um, so don't, don't go too crazy with this, but try to just like bring out the, or use words that are in a lot of the, the messages. So meta, meta, they always sign it meta platforms. Uh, I doubt, I seriously doubt any of your prospects are going to be uh, sending like typing out meta platforms in their messages to you so uh, we could do uh, what did I already put deleted yeah I put deleted meta platforms all right um, we'll, we'll go through a couple of others because they they do mix it up a little bit yeah but see see how they, they sign it at the bottom uh, you could do you could use no reply right here as well schedule for uh, infringed yeah not really Dude, I mean, look at all of these, man. This is just unbelievable. So, uh, a, a Facebook support team, that could be another one. All right, Facebook support team. Uh, I might need, do we need to, I don't think we need to put commas or anything. I'll, I'll have to double check with high level support, but this is like the, the main process of setting this up. All right, uh, so, you know, just, just go through some of the messages and pick out some of the, the keywords that your, your prospects are not likely going to send to you on Facebook Messenger. And from there, we're going to click Save Action. All right, and then right here, under that, uh, under Scam Message, so it, it, the, the system determined that it is a scam message. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete contact. Boom, that's it. And publish, save, and that's literally all you have to do uh, to at least start to manage the situation a little bit. It's not a 100% fix. Hopefully, Facebook will get this under control or allow us to do something within our uh, business page to be more effective at blocking them. But for now, uh, this is the best that I've been able to come with, uh, come up with so far. So like I said, if you guys have something else, I, I would greatly appreciate uh, knowing about it as well. Drop it down in the comments. So anyways, uh, I hope that helps guys. Hope you're crushing it either way. And I uh, will talk to you the next one. Matty Ice is out. To your success.